close your eyes and watch your breath. When the breath comes in, know it's coming in, all the way in. When it goes out, know that it's going out, all the way out. Just stay with the sensation of the breath. See if you can stay in the present moment like this and not go wandering off. If the mind does wander off, just bring it right back. Drop whatever it is you're th thinking about. And you'll be back with the breath coming in and going out. And allow the breath to be comfortable. You can explore for a bit to see what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. Because the breath is the force of life. And it only stands to reason that if the breath is good, it's going to help the other organs of the body as well. When the body feels comfortable, when the body feels healthy, then it's a lot easier for the mind to stay in the present moment. So it can watch itself. This is what we're doing. We're using the breath as a lasso to bring the mind into the present moment and keep it here. Because the mind doesn't like to look at itself. It likes to look at other things. And yet it creates a lot of trouble for itself because it doesn't know itself. So here's a chance for the mind to get to know itself. So you give it something good to stay with so it feels a sense of ease being here. So if anything comes up that you begin to see is not really as skillful as you thought you were, or not really as good as you thought you were, you're okay watching it. And say, okay, that's there, but I don't have to go with it. Think of the mind as like a committee. And lots of people in there. There are going to be all kinds of people showing up here to pull you away from the breath. You have to learn how to say, no, no, no. And this way you begin to recognize who's there in the mind. And when you recognize them, then they have less power over you. So when things like greed or anger or delusion come up, you'll be able to recognize them in time so they don't take over your thoughts and your words and your deeds. This way you're in charge, they're not in charge. Otherwise, they come in and they whisper to you and you think it's your own thought and that's something you ought to do or it's something you want to do, and just go with it. A mind like that can get itself into a lot of trouble. But if you decide you're going to stay right here with the breath, okay, then the mind has an anchor here. It's, and then whatever comes up, you're in a position where you can look at it with a sense of detachment. In other words, you don't have to go running with everything that comes into the mind. And that way you're more in control. And when the mind is in control like this, when your alertness and your mindfulness are in control like this, then you're bound to do a lot more in the direction of what's skillful. In other words, leading to your happiness, the happiness of the people around you. Then you guys begin to see, okay, this thought has a beginning, if it comes from this kind of mind state, okay, if it comes from a, an unskillful mind state, you learn how to be, treat it with suspicion. Or even if it comes with good intentions, but you're deluded and you begin to realize, okay, if I fo follow on this, it's going to lead to trouble down the line. Then you can say no. In your solid position to say no, this is a position of strength where you can choose your thoughts. That way the actions of your life that shape your life are going to be a lot more skillful, and the life that gets shaped, of course, is going to be a lot more pleasant. So try to look after your mind here in the present moment, and you look after the breath first to get the mind here. Because this is where all the important things in life are happening. This is where your life is getting shaped, so you want to make sure it gets shaped well.